that believeth in the Son hath everlasting life, and cometh not into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. But here let no man deceive his own soul. It is diligently to be noted, the faith which bringeth not forth repentance and love and all good works is not that right living faith, but a dead and devilish one. For even the devils believed that Christ was born of a virgin, that he wrought all kinds of miracles, declaring himself very God, that for our sakes he suffered a most painful death to redeem us from death everlasting, that he rose again the third day, that he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and at the end of the world shall come again to judge both the quick and dead. These articles of our faith the devils believe, and so they believe all that is written in the Old and New Testament. And yet, for all this faith, they be but devils. They remain still in their damnable estate, lacking the very true Christian faith homily on the salvation of man. The right and true Christian faith is to go on the words of our own church, not only to believe that Holy Scripture and the articles of our faith are true, but also to have a sure trust and confidence to be saved from everlasting damnation by Christ. It is a sure trust and confidence which a man hath in God that, by the merits of Christ, his sins are forgiven, and he reconciled to the favour of God, whereof doth follow a loving heart to obey his commandments. Now, whosoever hath this faith which purifies the heart by the power of God who dwelleth therein, from pride, anger, desire, from all unrighteousness, from all filthiness of flesh and spirit, which fills it with love stronger than death, both to God and to all mankind, love that doeth the works of God, glorying to spend and to be spent for all men, and that endureth with joy not only the reproach of Christ, the being mocked, despised, and hated of all men, but whatsoever the wisdom of God permits the malice of men or devils to inflict. Whosoever hath this faith, thus working by love, is not almost only, but altogether, a Christian. But who are the living witnesses of these things? I beseech you, brethren, as in the presence of that God before whom hell and destruction are without a covering, how much more the hearts of the children of men, that each of you would ask his own heart, Am I of that number? Do I so far practice justice, mercy, and truth as even the rules of heathen honesty require? If so, have I the very outside of a Christian, the form of godliness? Do I abstain from evil? from whatsoever is forbidden in the written word of God? Do I, whatever good my hand findeth to do, do it with my might? Do I seriously use all the ordinances of God at all opportunities? And is all this done with a sincere design and desire to please God in all things? Are not many of you conscious that you never came thus far, that you have not been even almost a Christian, that you have not come up to the standard of heathen honesty, at least not to the form of Christian godliness. Much less hath God seen sincerity in you, a real design of pleasing Him in all things. You never so much as intended to devote all your words and works, your business, studies, diversions to His glory. You never even designed or desired that whatsoever you did should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus, and as such should be a spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God through Christ. But supposing you had, do good designs and good desires make a Christian? By no means, unless they are brought to good effect. Hell is paved, saith one, with good intentions. The great question of all, then, still remains— is the love of God shed abroad in your heart? Can you cry out, My God and my all? Do you desire nothing but Him? Are you happy in God? Is He your glory, your delight, your crown of rejoicing? And is this commandment written in your heart, that he who loveth God love his brother also? Do you then love your neighbor as yourself? Do you love every man, even your enemies, even the enemies of God, as your own soul, as Christ loved you? Yea, dost thou believe that Christ loved thee and gave himself for thee? Hast thou faith in his blood? 
believest thou the lamb of god hath taken away thy sins and cast them as a stone into the depth of the sea that he hath blotted out the handwriting that was against thee taking it out of the way nailing it to his cross hast thou indeed redemption through his blood even the remission of thy sins and doth his spirit bear witness with thy spirit that thou art a child of god the god and father of our lord jesus christ who now standeth in the midst of us knoweth that if any man die without this faith and this love good it were for him that he had never been born awake then thou that sleepest and call upon thy god call in the day when he may be found let him not rest till he make his goodness to pass before thee till he proclaim unto thee the name of the lord the lord the lord god merciful and gracious long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth keeping mercy for thousands forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin let no man persuade thee by vain words to rest short of this prize of thy high calling but cry unto him day and night who while we were without strength died for the ungodly until thou knowest in whom thou hast believed and canst say my lord and my god